It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC East. It's the Pats and the Dolphins, and it's all up next on EA Sports. From beautiful South Florida, Oregon Stadium in Miami. Today we get the season started with an AFC East tilt right off the bat between the New England Patriots and the Miami Dolphins. I'm Brandon Gunn, joined by my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. And at long last, it's time to begin another season in the NFL. And if this looks familiar, Charles, it's because it is. For the third straight season, Miami and New England will play each other in week one. It's kind of becoming something of an unofficial tradition for these two. And we'll take it if they keep playing games like we've seen over the last two years because New England scored a late touchdown to secure a win in 2020, then had a red zone fumble in 2000. Here's the punter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And here comes the Miami offense now, and it's the Southpaw in his third season at the wheel for the Fins. Quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. For the second consecutive season, Tua's a starter, and Miami's a team. Both had winning records, but missed the playoffs. His numbers, they weren't terrific. Only 2,600 yards and 16 touchdowns against 10 interceptions. But he also overcame fractured ribs early in the season to return and play well down the stretch. And don't forget, when he did come back, he led Miami to six straight wins, which kept them in the playoff race. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Heck of a start, a 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. I think that typically we expect teams to save their home run plays for later in the game when they feel like they have an advantage over a defense. But in this case, they thought they had the advantage right away and took the shot on the first play of the game and completed it successfully. Meanwhile, to his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's another first down, as this time they get an even 20. This is shaping up to be a really nice-looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. And that's on Austin Jackson, first-round pick in 2020. Still first down. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. A run with Mostert up the middle. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here we go. A run for the first time with Miles Gaskin. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Eight yards on the run there, and that trims it to a third and 11 coming up. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Play action, now it's Tua. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Okay, great. Hey, close to you. Tua on fourth down. Touchdown! Tyree 
kill. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Dolphins are on the board here first in the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7 nothing game. That time, a six-play drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyree Hill. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Sanders taking it about the one and the ball is out Jones got hit and lost it and this is picked up by the Dolphins and he'll take this down inside the 15 yard line as that ball got away from him and he saw the opposing team recover it he felt his pain oh, I felt his pain and you know what was going through his head tuck it away Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. Okay, There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Ready. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Touchdown. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Sanders on for the extra point. it off the right upright and it's no good so with the missed PAT in his rear view mirror he goes back out to kick this one off this fielded right at the goal line Jones hit and the ball's out So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Jones in the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snap. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now Jones. He's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not the warmest starts throwing the football. He was one for three, now one for four in the opening drive. So getting him comfortable is the key. 
Man, for him, it might be different than what we think is comfortable. We're probably thinking swing passes, easy check downs. Some guys, they're better off throwing it downfield. That's what really loosens them up. And this won't be enough. A good, secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. Oh, he's going to go ahead and field it from the three-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Give him a good 10 yards on the return. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with the first and 10. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. And he's got room. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That good for 22 and a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Once again, it's Mostert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Up the middle they go with Mostert. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do, and right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. fourth down and that will fall incomplete oh they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter start of the second quarter and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten Harris. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Operating from the gun. Jones. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. That, Charles, the first interception he's thrown here in year number two. And I know it's just the first one, but didn't it feel like what we saw from him last year where he was plagued by this type of a play? And they thought that, you know, over the offseason, going into a second season, some of that would go away. Thus far, still looks a lot like his rookie year. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at their 35-yard line. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. This a second and seven from the 37. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On play action, here's Tua. And Wilson with it, complete. They find some open field here. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. And 
board, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered, and he just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. The two are going to try and throw for it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. We'll remind you that coming up tonight, the first Sunday nighter of the new season, and how about this for a matchup? The Buccaneers and the Cowboys from Dallas, 8.20 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday night, just one game here in week one this year, and it'll pit the Broncos and Seahawks as Russell Wilson makes his Bronco debut. And of course, where is it? Seattle. Coincidence? We'll let you decide. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On the give, this is Harris. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Jones. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Off the play fake, Jones goes right back to Smith again. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Now a first down carry for Harris. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Back to throw. Jones toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Jones now from the gun on third down. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. of scrimmage the 15 it's first and 10 operating from the gun Jones eluding the pressure right oh the ball comes out on the hit but they'll say it's incomplete an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and 10 they'll look to throw again and he's got it touchdown Patriots Janu Smith, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point up and good by Folk. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was Jonu Smith, the big tight end, who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Fields it right around the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get sent to take over here. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. 
And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. This one finds Wilson downfield. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. A legacy player in the NFL, Cedric Wilson, 602 yards last season, nearly beat his father's best season when he played in the league. The Miami Dolphins, they're betting that Wilson could surpass not only his dad, but become a big-time player in their revamped passing game. Nice catch there for a first down. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. So that drive spanned five plays. And it all concluded with a touchdown pass to the tight end, Mike Gesicki. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Jones on first and 10. Over the middle to Smith. Now the ball comes loose. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. the fumble recovery. Here's Tua. Got a man here. It's Wilson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And it is the Jets who have the lead in the second quarter. The Jets looking to sew that one up and they look to be in pretty good shape. From there, we'll head to Cincinnati to check on the Bengals at home at Paul Brown Stadium. 
And you can see they trail in that matchup against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two touchdown passes there for Mitchell Trubisky. Lastly, we head to Southern California to check on the Rams at home at SoFi Stadium. And they were losers in their ball game as the visiting Buffalo Bills come in and took it to them. Josh Allen, two touchdown passes as his guys are able to get the victory in their season opener. It looks like we'll have to wait another week to get our first halftime report of the season as we move right along to the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Taking it at about the one. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 64 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Let's go. Check right. Here's Mostert. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. Ready, ready. Cut. Mostert will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week one is going to play out. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well on their way to a 1-0 start. Yeah, it's a lot like opening up presents, isn't it, partner? You're not quite sure what's inside, but you're hopeful, right? In this case... So that challenge is a successful one. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Yeah, cut. Cut, cut. They'll run with Mostert. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. And I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. They'll try it now with Mostert. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Raheem Mostert. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points.
after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From the six. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. New England trying to get a place on offense. But CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. But let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Looking to throw, Jones. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this punt goes out of bounds and it'll be marked inside the 40. Miami's set to take over. The offense running out and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Second down, here's Mostert again. A solid stiff arm. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 83 yards rushing for him now here in week one. A very solid start to this new campaign. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. The run only got a yard, here's second and nine. They hand it off to Mostert. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain, so he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Ready, ready. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Yeah. 
We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Hey, ready. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. Now Jones throwing to start the drive. Going deep here for Parker. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now here's a throw that's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 yards there for number 15. Here's Jones on first down. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now Jones looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And it's Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Ready, go. Ready. A run with Mostert up the middle. And it's a room to run now. Pass the 20. Five. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. They two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Sanders here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18 now the Patriots offense they worked their way back out onto the field and they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener but this has just been a performance to be frank not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter 
Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Got the connection here to Bourne. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Jones now throwing on first down. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Quick slant here to Smith. There he goes, right side. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Well, for a tight end, he can definitely motor, and he shows off the wheels there after the catch as he's able to shake free. Yeah, and he's had a heck of a game so far, up over 100 yards receiving already. And it's not all been air yards as we saw right there. He's so good that when he can space a maneuver, he can often turn it into a big play after the catch. Flush to his right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. This one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Another try after the first down sack. Jones under pressure, and they got to him again. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks him backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. And this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and a mile. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. But there is a flag down. He might get another shot at this. Well, that flag puts him on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Fulk connects on the extra point, and that trims the lead a bit, but still standing at 26 points. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. 
And this is really the start to the season that you're hoping for if you're a coach or a player. They've got the big lead here in the fourth here quarter here and now can really take some time off the clock. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And going deep for Hill. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone. I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Moster. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Liam Eikenberg, second round pick in 2021 from Notre Dame, the guilty party. Play action, now it's Tua. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And now out come the Patriots. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. To throw once more on second and ten. Jones, four steps. Brooklyn, go see side rack, south side, C12, 911. Move to the rear, so you still outside. Bond on the riches, hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie. This flex, no day ready. See, we wanna ride nobody with. We the ones who started with it. Translation, Yanni had to buy Yanni at Yanni hits. <laughs> this goes so hard, even the ops go put it, uh huh. That's how you know we lit. Grrr. Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. We're in the fourth quarter now with the Patriots in control of the football. Here's second and ten.
Now Jones. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing Jones. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Jalen Phillips in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. Talk about two sides of the ball and cross purposes because mercifully this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still want to get a few shots in. That front seven, they've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats, and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught, but they say out of bounds. That would have been a first down, but he couldn't stay in. And as a result, they're going to have to give up the football. This is Mostert. And all the way down inside the five of the four. Now whistles and a timeout call here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. They probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Here's Tua. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Pats come up with a late foul. turnover. And it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster. And you hope their lockers are not right next to each other for the post game. Safe to say one. And this will be caught. We'll forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here. It's a throw for a late touchdown. Well, CD, I mean, simply put, if anyone around the league wasn't paying attention to them to start the season, they will be heading into week two. This has been an impressive week one performance. They certainly announced that they are ready to go, haven't they? They wanted to send a message out to the rest of the league. You better put your eyes on us. We may be someone you have to reckon with. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for the Dolphins, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, for New England, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road.